hi there welcome back to azure load balancing lecture and within this lecture we're gonna learn about how it's gonna work at the layer 4 level for the load balancing and also the key features of our azure load balancer and also the architecture of azure load balancing services so when we talk about the load balancing uh, or load balancer uh, it actually refers evenly distributing load that's incoming traffic across a group of backend different resources if you see here um, that is the load balancer icon uh, within Microsoft Azure portal and what happens is if somebody is trying to access any website let's see uh, there's a website called uh, maybe contestor.com so this contestor.com is hosted so that contestor.com IP address is assigned to this load balancer and these three backend machines uh, maybe think that these are the web tire or maybe it might have another backend also but at the end this uh, one of the w machine will respond to the user whoever opens the contestor.com so for this there are needs to be all the time needs to be validated these virtual machines health status let's say uh, if the virtual machine the middle one has some issues there should be somebody has to tell that hey this machine is no more working fine so you should dynamically change the traffic uh, to send to only load balancer to the first machine and the last virtual machine so this is called the health probe so you have some uh, vocabulary here that's called the health probe which will continuously check on given port numbers about the uh, health of that specific service if it is not available it tells to the load balancer not to send the traffic to uh, those specific VMs or to those specific services let's also have a look on other configuration load balancer at the front end let's see uh, think that this could be your public load balancer that means the public IP is associated and it can uh, outbound communication for your virtual machines and for your internal uh, virtual machines and these connections are accomplished by translating their IP address or with the public IP address so whenever it goes it actually goes with this public IP which is assigned for this public load balancer and similarly you can also have an internal load balancer when I say internal load balancer this will have the internal IP address so it's not going to be a private it's not going to be public it's going to be a private IP address and these will communicate with these business star uh, machines on a different port and these ports are fully monitored with the health probe uh, monitors so when do you use or uh, if you think about these scenarios uh, you can use the load balancer either internal case or for the external uh, case you can use uh, any of these scenario based on the requirements and also increase the availability by distributing different uh, resources load across not just for your Azure resources you can also uh, uh, distribute this load to across different as your uh, as your regions and the zones and also you can configure your outbound connectivity for your virtual machines how it should go out and also you can use the health probes that we talked about which will monitor the load of the resources and also you can employ port forwarding uh, to access virtual machines within the uh, vnet uh, for a specific public ip address and the port that you wanted to configure and you can also uh, configure uh, as your load balancer supports the ip version 6 so you can configure and this entire thing will work at the layer 4 uh, configuration let's also have a look on the pricing side so this is the pricing for the load balancing pricing where where it's going to talk about the first five rules within the load balancer uh, which is going to cost per hour basis 0 0.025 uh, cents and the additional rules it's going to cost as a 0.01 uh, per rule and and anything for the NAT rules it's a free and the data process will be charged again based on the 0, 005 uh, cents uh, per GB base that's all about the just an overview about the Azure load balancer make sure that you check the resource section of this lecture so that you can read furthermore about Azure load balancer and we will continue in the next lecture about the Azure load balancer as a demo and thank you for watching this.